Hello world. Are you out there? <laughs> are you? If you are, let us know. Friends, it is seven o'clock on the East Coast. I don't know where, what time it is, where you are. I'm in Pittsburgh. Ali is in Chapel Hill, both in North Carolina. And we are so glad to be with you tonight to unveil at long last our plans for the fall. Krista is here. Hey, Krista. It's good to see you. Um, glad you're on. Um, the Steinerts are here too. Great. So good. So good. Uh, if, as you're joining us, we uh, tonight in the next just a few minutes, we don't have three hours of content planned tonight, but um, we could talk for three hours if you wanted us to. But uh, yeah, if yeah, Natalie was talking earlier about how she was going to hop on right at the end and just ask questions like, hey, Brent, have you seen the something, you know, whatever. But um, Nancy's here. Jane is here. So great to have you guys with us. We're going to unveil our plans for the fall and beyond tonight uh, in just a few moments. But uh, Ali, before we get started, how are you? I know, right? It was a nice day. Oh, Brent. You know what? You were, you've been muted. You, I just realized that you've been muted. So let's ask again. Allie, how are you? Sorry about that, everybody. This is how Did you know you it's live. It's real. What'd you say? Did you mute me? I, 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 it wasn't intentional. I promise. Okay, I promise. I you. But so, so how are you, Allie? It, you are good. I'm good. I am grateful for today to have a day off from work at the hospital and to get to be home and to be outside a lot of today. So it was good. You good. went on a run. Yeah. Run. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Krista notified that you're, you were muted. So thanks for the heads oh, up, Krista. Thanks, Krista. <laughs> um, I am not sure that you guys recognize me uh, because I'm wearing a green shirt. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, I, I just want to make sure you knew that I have more than just black shirts in my closet. Um, so it is me. Even though I'm not wearing a black shirt, this or your me. Mickey Mouse shirt, or my Mickey Mouse shirt, sometimes that makes an appearance. Yeah, I have more than two shirts, so um, this is number three. But uh, yeah, we're glad you're here. Let's get <laughs> let's get right to it um, tonight. We are going to talk about uh, our plans for the fall and beyond. We've been working on this for a little while, um, and uh, and I'm really excited about it. I don't think I've been this excited about something uh, in a long time, and. You know, any anytime as um, COVID has is running its course among us, um, and, and there has been significant disruption to our to our lives and our way of life, um, that disruption uh, can either kill you or it can uh, force you to innovate. Um, and so we think, Ali and I think, and um, others that I've been talking to about this over the last few weeks. Uh, think that uh, this is indeed an innovation and uh, and and it all came about because as uh, as Ali and I you know we talk on a regular basis um, and we started to realize a couple things uh, as as the summer wore on you know if you remember back in March we thought hey we'll be back together in two months you know just eight weeks everybody wears a mask you're good to go, right? You're like, Easter is going to be big. East, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Easter is going to be big. Yeah, gosh, those were the days, right? Um, but, um, but, but what has become clear to us, especially as we are watching the numbers in North Carolina, where we are and uh, across the country as well, um, is that the chances of us being back together in person in a large group at House of Hops or wherever... Um, we saw those those chances just dwindling um, day by day, and um, and and at this point, and this is the bad news, but then there's a whole lot of good news uh, to come. The, the the bad news is there's a good chance we will not meet together again as a large group um, probably for the end of the year, and that is because that is out of love of neighbor. That is um, because we care about you. We care about your safety, your health, your wholeness. Um, we want you to be fully who God has created you to be. And if, and if uh, Allie, as you know, when you get COVID, uh, it knocks you down. It knocks you out and, uh, and is, 
is, is a big risk for, um, for many as well. And so, um, so once that realization sort of hit us, we started to think, okay, well, if not this, then what? I know somebody just hit the sad emoji. I'm right there with you. Um, I'm right there with you. Um, but, but we thought if not this, then what? And, uh, and so the first realization was that, that we're not going to be together for the rest of the year in all likelihood. Rest assured, we're going to get together as soon as we can. As soon as it oh, is yeah. safe, we're going to, we're going to be back together. Um, but we, we wanted to sort of stop playing the game of, well, okay, what about next week? Well, what about the week after? What about the week? And just sort of being in this place indefinitely um, with sort of a big question mark in the air of when. That question mark is still there, but we still wanted to make some decisions. We wanted to, to feel like we were going somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, and so that realization forced us to, to think about who we are, uh, as a faith community, what our gifts are, um, as a faith community and, and what's, what's going well and let that sort of lead us into where God might be leading us. And so, um, and so we started taking stock of some of that together that, that, you know, if you've hung around with the local church for any period of time, we hope that, that you find a community that is inclusive, uh, where everybody has belonging, uh, that you find a community, um, that, that is, uh, authentic, that's, uh, that's going to be real. Uh, we hope that you find a faith community that is, um, that, that does everything with, with intentionality, mm -hmm. um, and everything. Um, and, and, and as you know, Allie, um, so much of what we do, this is how we started. This is how we will continue is rooted in relationship and coming mm -hmm. alongside and being with and for one another and the world and our community. Um, and, and so these, these things sort of propelled us into, okay, well, what's next, man, I'm really building this up. Aren't I? People are like, just tell us, just tell us already. Um, and, and we also realized that that what we do on Sunday mornings right now with our live stream, and we heard this from you too, um, it's going okay. It's it's good, um, and you're connecting, you're hopping on, you are um, you're commenting, you're engaging, you're sharing it, and we are so grateful for that. Um, mm -hmm. And so you know, we kind of thought, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And we believe that the live stream too um, is giving us the best shot to be as inclusive as possible. It's not going to keep anybody out, right? Um, and and so we wanted to keep the live stream going, um, and and that was a way that we could continue to worship together. Um, and so, so we've got two realizations so far: one that we're not going to be together before the end of the year; two, the live stream going okay; um, and the third realization uh, is that we are um, we are really missing our friends. We are really missing that tangible, in-person, in real life, incarnational connection. Uh, that, you know, if, if you've been a part of any of our local tables, you'll know that that is our special sauce. Uh, that, that makes us who we are. It's our bread and butter. How many different metaphors, food metaphors can I use? <laughs> but it's, it, it, it is um, so much a part of who we are is the cultivation of relationships. And so we started asking these questions, right? Um, if we're not gathering in person in a large group um, and our live stream is going okay and we really miss our friends, then what? Then what? And so tonight we are going to introduce um, a, a new movement, a new initiative, essentially, that um, will do a few things. It will uh, be uh, uh, inclusive. It will be authentic. It will be intentional. And uh, you will be able to see your friends in real life, in real life. And we're so excited about it. Um, and we, we're, we're, we're betting that this is not just what happens from September to December. Uh, but we think this is what happens from September on. We believe in this that much. And we're so excited. We think this is a new way to do and be church here in a new normal to continue to create new space for new people, to continue to invite belonging, to continue to grow in the knowledge and love of Jesus and ask good questions and discover purpose and find meaning and know you're not alone. Um, uh, Linda from Utah is here. Yes, Linda, we can get started now. <laughs> um, but we think all of these things are gonna be true in ways that we haven't been able to experience before. And in fact, 
COVID essentially pushed us uh, to innovate and try something new. And, and one of my favorite parts about this is it's gonna enable you, Linda from Utah, and anywhere else, wherever you are, because one of the things we've said again and again and again is that everybody's local somewhere. It's gonna enable you, wherever you are, to participate and engage and not just feel like you are watching somebody else's show. Mm -hmm. um, but we want you to feel like you belong because everybody is local somewhere. And so tonight we are so excited to share with you what we are calling TLC Plus. Let me get Ali and my names off. TLC Plus. This is a doubling down and a broadening of love where you are. TLC Plus. This is not a television station. This is not where you will watch Trading Spaces on demand. That's still a show. <laughs> this is a new movement, a new initiative from uh, the local church, a new way to love where you are. TLC, the local church, plus implies that it is church, but better. All everything we're gonna talk about tonight is, uh, is gonna be an enhancement and an enrichment and a, a just, it'll fill out your church experience in a way that you have not maybe been able to experience to this point in the time of COVID or pre-COVID. Ali, I've talked way too much so far. Do you wanna um, say anything right now? Yeah, I, um, I am so excited for this new initiative. I think, um, like you said, I think there's so much good about what we have been doing, but um, that there is always room for more. And I know I especially am so ready to um, be with people and to connect with people more than just the like, hey, how's it going over social media or over Zoom, but on a deeper level. And I cannot wait to get started um, with this and do just that. Yeah, I can't wait either. We'll talk about when we're starting um, toward the end. And, and by the way, if you have any questions about anything we're talking about tonight, um, please feel free to throw them in the comments there and we will uh, we'll get to your questions toward the end. But, but essentially TLC Plus is a three-part rhythm, a three-part rhythm of life. And that rhythm is receive, respond, share. Say that with me. Receive, receive. respond, share. Yeah. Receive, respond, share. And uh, the first part of this rhythm is, uh, is, is familiar to you already. It is the live stream. The live stream. We're going to continue to stream every Sunday morning at 930 um, on uh, Facebook Live and YouTube. Uh, coming right to you in your living room while you're eating breakfast in bed, out on a run, like wherever you are, we're going to continue to live stream that experience because we have heard you that you feel like this is uh, that, that you can connect that, that somehow, somehow, um, even though you are in front of a screen, you can still feel like you belong and can still feel like you connect. You can still feel like you can worship God and be empowered and equipped to love where you are. And so if it ain't broke, right, as we said, don't fix it. But we've also heard um, from some of you uh, that uh, an hour is a long time, that an hour is a, is a long time. Uh, and when you are especially wrangling kiddos and trying to force them to sit through something, you know, um, it's, it's really hard. And, uh, and, and, I don't know about you, but I, my attention span is pretty short sometimes. And so, uh, so we want to give you sort of just the essentials. <laughs> we, um, we, so we're going to, we're going to take our live stream as it is now, and we're just going to tighten it. Um, instead of about an hour, uh, our hope is that the live stream will last about 30 to 40 minutes and it's going to continue to have music, going to continue to have uh, scripture and sacred words and a sermon going to continue to have uh, Sarah Horner's wonderful local kids minute each week. Um, thanks be to God. Um, and uh, you'll continue to see faces of locals near and far who uh, are, are there to read scripture, there to offer a moment of prayer, whatever it is, uh, an inspiration. We're just going to do it all in 30 to 45 minutes. And so that's the live stream. Why is this better? Um, cause we keep saying church, but better. We think this is better, um, because, uh, uh, there is an intimacy about our live stream. I think, um, we're not just taking what we were doing, uh, pre COVID and, uh, and repackaging it. Uh, we, Ali and I are intentional every week about, um, going through our liturgy and making sure that, that what we are offering is going to connect over the internet. 
going to connect with you. Sometimes we do better than others, admittedly, but uh, but on the whole, no, this you, is uh, uniquely designed um, to 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 match the medium, if that makes sense. So that's uh, that's part one, the live stream. Here's part two. We're calling it the get together. <laughs> Because I think simplicity is a beautiful thing. I want you to know what you're getting into. <laughs> um, and so this is the get together. And here's the thing. When, when the live stream ends on Sunday morning, once you receive, you're invited to respond. And so every Sunday morning uh, in your inbox, we're going to give you everything you need to get together with your family, with friends, with uh, a couple of families, with uh, uh, you know, uh, even even in uh, virtual, but we hope that you get together in person. And if you can't get together in person, we're going to create opportunities for you to to get together in a meaningful way um, that may or may not use Zoom. We don't know, but uh, but the hope is that in however in whatever way you feel safest, this accounts for uh, a diverse array of comfort levels in the midst of gathering. Some people's bubbles are bigger, some people's bubbles are tight, um, but we have designed the get together. So that um, uh, you can participate what, however is best for you and your family, however is best for you, whenever is best for you, wherever is best for you. Uh, so if, you have, uh, if you've been a part of a local table, it's sort of the local table experience, somewhat pared down, somewhat different, um, but, but it's sort of a build your own local table. We're going to give you everything you need to invite and to participate right where you are. And it's gonna connect with whatever we have talked about that Sunday morning. So that's the get together. Um, and, and one of the things I'm really excited about with the get together is we are creating opportunities for um, everyone to participate from the youngest to the oldest. Um, and so it is not going to be exclusive to grownups. Uh, you, every age will be able to participate in the get together. Ali, you had a great metaphor for what yeah. we were thinking earlier. Would you, would you share that? Yes. I keep thinking about this. It's like the show chopped where you have all these ingredients yeah. in front of you and they give you a couple that they want you to include, but then the chefs get to create whatever they want out of those ingredients. So we all get to be chefs during this time <laughs> and get to make this what it is, but we're given all the tools that we need to for that to be possible. So I love I love this because I know that, um, you know, even within my own family, um, we all have different levels of comfort of getting together in person. So this allows space for, you know, outdoor meetings or in person, in homes, if that feels comfortable or back porch or around a fire pit or whatever it is. Yeah. Or maybe out on a trail together or wherever that may be. Um, and I love that flexibility and that, um, just that ownership that uh, we get to have to, to make this our own, because I think that's so important. Um, and when you can take ownership, you can really, um, I think it can be more meaningful that way. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Um, and so, for example, you know, in your inbox on a Sunday morning, Annabelle says, I love Chopped. Yeah, it's such a great show. <laughs> Which this is a great time, by the way, to plug Sarah Cuny, our friend who uh, co-owns The Root yes. Cellar, is going to be on Guys at Grocery Games on the Food Network tomorrow night. So uh, be on the lookout for that and cheer Sarah on speaking of uh, food television shows. <laughs> but, um, you know, for instance, uh, in your inbox every Sunday morning, if, if we have just had a, uh, uh, a conversation on, um, I don't know, this past week, Zach Horner shared with such vulnerability and humility about um, about faithfulness and about good news and about curiosity and about not having all of the answers. Um, and so we may ask a question like, you know, what answer do you wish you have? You know, we might give you some some conversation starters, some discussion questions. We might give you some journal prompts. We might give you activities to do with with whomever. Like, go take a walk and take a picture of X Y Z. Um, we might give you a podcast to listen to or uh, a segment a of a blog to read. to read. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so um, the get together is designed for you to create in your own context. It's not us trying to micromanage where you go, what um, you know, what time, when, with whom. Um, we want to equip you to do that yourself because we know if you're anything like us that you are craving that in-person connection. And more than that, you're you're craving connection that uh, that fosters deep, meaningful relationships. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you want to talk about something other than the weather or sports or politics working even from home. maybe yeah or working from home or yeah what's what zoom background you're going to use tomorrow <laughs> whatever it is so um so yeah we're really excited about the get together um so first the live stream that's the receive respond is the get together if you have questions about um anything again you can throw them in the chat and we will uh we will respond to those and we're going to put up full description on our website a little bit later tonight as well so that uh so that you if we're not clear about anything <laughs> um then uh then it, it should all be there but those are the first two and then the third and, and the get together is better because it takes um you know a lot if, if it's live stream only right if it's live stream only then you're just consuming you're not participating you're not owning it you're not engaging with it it's not coming alive within you. And so we are designing the get together so that it can come alive, so that you can make it local, so that your faith and the questions and the curiosity uh, and, and the, the spirituality, so that it can be activated within you to take it and then transform the world. Live and love a little bit more like Jesus. So that's the get together. That's why it's better. Um, how are we doing, Allie? Great. How are we doing, friends? 33 of you on, according to my, uh, my oh, 32. Uh, oh, well. Um, <laughs> it can always be better. <laughs> can all, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, we're going to keep plussing it, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then the third, the third component is uh, the glue that holds it all together. And this is the online community, the online hub. You're on Facebook right now. You're on Facebook right now. This online community will not be on Facebook. Um, our hope is that after you receive and after you respond, um, you will have space. It's space that we are sharing, uh, that we are creating for you to share what's going on in your life, what you're learning. Uh, it will allow you to organize, allow you to see people nearby, allow you to uh, learn new things, uh, allow you to um, get involved in ways that maybe you haven't been able to before. We're leveraging a platform called uh, Mighty Networks. And uh, Mighty Networks is decidedly not Facebook. Mighty Networks is built, designed for building and creating and cultivating community. And so that's the platform that we're going to use um, for uh, the online community, the online hub. It's going to be sort of the central place where all of the TLC plus action happen. It's something you're going to want to check regularly, not mm -hmm. something that you're going to just check when you don't have anything to do. You're going to want to check this. Um, and I think one of the benefits of this, this is why it's better, uh, is that uh, it's not Facebook. And so there's no ads. There are no distractions. There's no algorithms. There's no data stealing. There is no doom scrolling. Um, it is uh, it is an intentional community mm -hmm. all its own um, that we are creating for you. And so um, it, it's kind of hard to explain in a nebulous way without you seeing it. But <laughs> once once you're in, we promise it'll make a lot more sense. Allie? Yeah, I think um, it really is hard to explain, I think. But you have to once you're in, I really think um, I love the intentionality behind it. And it really is um, just for us. It's just our friends. And it's just um, able to support one another and um, able to celebrate and able to pray for and pray with. Um, and to be intentional about the ways that we spend our time and spend um yeah, spend our time on our on our phones or on our computers and also in, in our lives outside of that. Um, I'm really happy to not be distracted by everything else on my newsfeed anymore on Facebook, but to be able to come to the mining networks to check in, um, to check in with this community because um, this community gives me life. And so I'm excited to uh, to have this space to share, to share in life with everyone else. Yeah. Um, Doug asked a great question. We'll get to that in just a second, Doug. Um, and, and I think that, that each of these components on their own are fine. You know, nothing terribly special about a live stream, nothing terribly special about a get together. We do that. We did that. We don't do that as much, but we did that all the time. Uh, an online community, meh, you know, like it's fine. But we really believe that that all together, held together, this rhythm will enhance, will enrich um, 
and, and will plus your spiritual life, um, the ways that you find meaning and purpose and belonging, um, and become more and more like Jesus, equipped to love where you are in the world. Um, and so that's TLC Plus. You've got the live stream, you've got the get together, and you've got the online community that are all going to work together to, um, to just inspire you and to uh, plus your life. Um, so, so that's, uh, that's what we got a few bonuses, uh, that we haven't talked about yet. Um, really maybe just one, um, but a good one. Yeah. If you sign up, when you sign up for, uh, the mighty network, that's going to be your sign to us that you are in. Um, oh, Doug wants you to know Kelly is typing. Okay. Thanks Kelly. Thanks. For that. <laughs> thanks Doug Kelly. Um, we, when you sign up for the, uh, for TLC plus through the mighty network, um, we will send you a real life welcome kit um, that's going to have everything you need for the whole TLC plus experience. Um, and I'm not going to spoil what's in there yet. You're just going to have to wait and see, but, uh, but we're really excited about who doesn't like surprises, right? Tangible, um, tangible items that aren't just like cheap trinkets that are going to end up in a junk drawer. Um, these are, this is good stuff and it's everything that you're going to need for the TLC plus experience. And we're also going to have things, for teens, for youth, and for children as well. And uh, so we're so excited uh, about that. And uh, and we alluded to this earlier. This is, um, you know, we are housed in uh, Chatham County in Pittsburgh, as Ali says every week. This is where this is where we're based out of. Um, and uh, and and we love where we are here. Um, but that said, we believe that everybody is a local somewhere. And so this is a great opportunity uh, to engage and connect with people uh, that we haven't met yet. Uh, people who are seeking a faith community in a new way. People who are uh, maybe far away um, and, and can't make it to House of Hops on a Sunday morning. Couldn't. It'd be a long drive for them. Um, but we believe that, that what we're creating will invite people uh, and, and, and people will feel just as connected as they would um, at, a, at a regular church um, and a regular faith community. And in fact, we created this um, with those people in mind for people who, um, pre COVID or during COVID have had a hard time connecting with a faith community. We created this, um, with them in mind, with you in mind, if that's you watching as well. And we can't wait for you to experience it. We're going to get to questions here in just a moment. Um, but uh, uh, just going to talk briefly about every time I get a text when I'm live, I have to check it to make sure everything is, uh, is okay, technically. Um, but talk about the, the process for it, how this, uh, how, how we're going to roll it out. We're going to open up the mighty network on September 1st. Um, and so on September 1st, you, we're going to open the gates to Mighty network. So you can hop in, you can explore, you can kind of get a feel for it and, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and poke around right. And familiarize yourself with it before we go live. Um, and then between September 1st and September 12th, um, once you log on to the Mighty Network, we're going to start um, uh, just onboarding you. We're going to start preparing you with everything you need, um, not only for the live stream, but for the get together. Um, and uh, so we're going to give you some templates on how to invite people. We're going to um, talk a little bit more about what a get together might look like. Um, and we're going to give you tips and tricks for how to use the Mighty Network as well. So that's going to happen from September 1st to September 12th. And then September 13th is sort of our official kickoff. That's when our new format for the live stream is going to take place. That's when you will first receive uh, the get together guide in your inbox. And hopefully that is when you uh, sometime, whether it's that Sunday morning, uh, immediately after the live stream or sometime between then and the following Saturday, you'll get together with people. Um, hope, you know, potentially in real life. Um, we would love for that to happen as best you are able and feel comfortable doing, uh, mm -hmm. or virtually, if that is the best option for you as well. So, um, and then September 20th, we'll just do the same thing. And then the 27th, we'll just do the same thing. And this will keep on going. Um, and uh, it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So, Allie, have I forgotten anything? I think you've hit most of the high points. <laughs> Ooh, and we're 30 minutes in. Goodness, goodness. Um, all right. Questions here. Uh, Kelly, uh, says, how do we figure out who to get together with? Is there a church directory? That is a great question. Yeah. Um, our hope 
is and the way that this is all playing out in our head and again it's it's subject to change um the hope is that in the mighty network uh you will be able to to see who's nearby um you will be able to um to connect with people within the mighty network um and then when you law when when you first sign on to the mighty network you're going to receive a survey and that's where we're going to get your address to send your welcome kit to you um but within that survey also is a couple options like i'm willing to uh convene a get together or i'm going to be looking for a get together to attend and participate in um but not necessarily convenient myself and so using that data um we're gonna play the role of matchmaker if uh, if if one is not coming naturally to you organically to you so that's a great question yeah um other questions love to hear your uh reactions to this is this a terrible idea we'll find out Maybe. We'll find out. We hope it's not. Yeah, I'm going to wait for uh, just a couple more questions. Ali, you've talked to a few people about this, and uh, and they seem excited. Yeah, I, um, I'm really excited about this opportunity to connect with other people. I've talked to people um, in Virginia and people that just aren't around here. Um, and I've heard, heard the same thing kind of over and over that, that um, people are really looking for ways to connect um, and to go a little bit deeper in ways that haven't really been possible over the last five months that are really hard to do um, over Zoom or over FaceTime or Skype or whatever that may be. So I think this is um, just going to allow for a little bit more than, like we were saying before, than the how's it going, what's your day been like, a little bit deeper connection than just those those things. Um, it'll be definitely take some intentionality behind it um, to get together. Yeah. To yeah. actually to do it. But um, like we said, I think it allows opportunity to really create something beautiful that yeah. um, that's your own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and follow Jesus in a new way, right? Um, Jane had a great question. Any details on what the kids will do? Um, yes, Jane. In fact, we are um, partnering with our sisters and brothers at Christ United Methodist for um, and, and leaning on, not leaning on, but, but we are using the same uh, children's curriculum uh, this fall. And that is a curriculum called Storymakers NYC. Uh, it comes with a, a workbook, uh, a, a, a zine is what they call it. Uh, for every child. Um, and so in your welcome kit, you, uh, if you have, uh, if you have kiddos, you will receive a zine for your child. And then Sarah each week, uh, is going to work with, uh, Brandon. Uh, but Sarah each week will, um, uh, offer during the local kids minute. And, and we're still working out some of these details, but, uh, uh, her kids minute will connect with the story makers content. And it's so cool. We can't wait for your kids to get your hand, get their hands on it. Um, I have a, a preview copy and I've been playing with it with Emma and reading it with Emma and, and she loves it. So, um, so yeah, that's what the kids are going to do. And we also, um, Allie and I were just talking about this today as well, yeah. that, that the get togethers, um, uh, we want the kids to be able to participate in that, whether that is, um, lighting the candle with, uh, the parents, uh, guidance and help. Uh, or, or offering a, a word of prayer, something simple. Um, we are, you know, every week the get together will um, will have something for kids, youth, and teens as well. Um, and, and in addition, the story makers content uh, will be there too. So, yeah, yeah, that's a great question, Jane. Y'all are super encouraging. Thank you. I guess you wouldn't have stayed on this long if uh, if you weren't. But um, we we're, we're really excited about it. Um, again, we're gonna uh, actually I'm gonna I can put the uh, the link in the chat right now if you want to read more about it. Um, here's the link where you can see all of the details for TLC Plus. I hope that comes through. There it is. Um, but thanks for spending a few minutes with us tonight, friends. If you have any other questions. Uh, feel free to email uh, me uh, or Allie. Um, I'm Brent at the local church, PBO.org. And Allie is Allie with two L's, A-L-L-I 
at the local church pbo.org and uh, we'd love to hear from you we think this is going to be great and um and we hope and pray that you will consider joining us one thing i didn't say like you, you know and you might I, I just i just you know thought about this two things one um if if you know you might be thinking well what if i just want the live stream that's fine that's fine that's great keep watching the live stream don't drop off the live stream is going to stand on its own um every week but but we believe that um with the um with the get together and with the online community it's just going to take it to the next level it's going to plus your overall experience and give you give you a, a, a fullness that, that you can't just get with the live stream and the second thing ali is um what's with the plus like what does that plus mean is it just like did we just want to copy disney plus because true story right yeah. true story um I, this this all came together on a long walk on the beach and, and, uh, Emerald Isle, uh, a few weeks ago when I was, uh, on vacation and, uh, and, and it was the weekend that, that Hamilton came out on Disney plus. And so it was like all in my head. And, uh, and I texted Allie and I was like, Hey, I got an idea. Can we talk about it? And uh, because I run everything by Allie before it gets to you, <laughs> you should thank her. You should thank her. Um, but, uh, you know, we didn't know what to call it. We knew it was becoming something and we didn't know what to call it. And so we just started calling it like, jokingly TLC plus because uh, of Disney plus. And then it just kind of stuck because that's what we kept calling it internally. Um, but the more we thought about it, the more we thought, yeah, the plus really, really works. And, and, and here's why, because a plus is um, is a sign of inclusivity, a sign of inclusion. Uh, it's a sign of curiosity. And a wondering of, is there more? It's a sign of addition, which is what we are hoping to do, to continue to add more and more people to experience the belonging, the love, the grace of Jesus and the, the beauty found in a true, authentic community. And so the plus is all of those things, right? Um, the other thing we found in our research is that uh, in Ignatian spirituality, yes, Annabelle says the plus is a cross for Christ. I was getting there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Spoiler, Spoiler alert. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Annabelle. Yeah, for sure. Um, and in Ignatian spirituality, the plus is uh, is called the presupposition. And uh, you can read about this on uh, on the page that I just uh, posted in the uh, in the, the chat there, the comments. But um, and I'm going to read it so I don't get it wrong. But the plus um, the plus sign called the presupposition is also a reminder to receive and to respond to another with charity, grace, and curiosity. In Ignatian spirituality, it's called the presupposition. And it's a reminder to receive and to respond to another with charity, grace, and curiosity. When you are building community, loving, beloved, no, don't apologize, Annabelle. You're fine. You're fine. We are, that's, that's great. Um, uh, but, but when we are building this type of community, um, it is important to receive and to respond to another with charity, grace, and curiosity. We hope that's the spirit that you bring with us. Uh, with the, that you bring with you to TLC plus. And, you know, again, we believe that it's just, we're plusing this experience. We're plusing the local church. So, um, yeah, there's probably more I want to say. It's probably good to just wrap it. Allie, I want to give you the last word. Well, I would love to answer this last question. Zach asked, is the mighty networks just a social network or will there be extra things on there? That's a great question. Um, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, it's, it's a social network plus. I guess we could say it. Um, it is there will be more things on there. There are opportunity for um, events and um, I, I mean classes and um, all all kinds of different things on there. I can't even can't even tell you. You'll just have to join on September first to find out all the details. But um, there are. I think it it really is. It's more than just a just a social network. So yeah. And, we're, and we've already planted some seeds with a few folks uh, about leading some some courses and events and, um, and, and by courses, we mean like classes, um, but courses sounds less academic, um, maybe. Um, but some experiences to learn new things, to, to, to gain some knowledge. Um, it's not just about being together. It's about learning new things as well. Mm -hmm. And so we've already started planting some seeds uh, with some folks to to host some uh, some courses for us, uh, sort of some extracurriculars within TLC Plus. We're gonna keep plussing as long as we're going. We're gonna keep plussing, so. Um, yeah, thanks, Ali. Thanks, friends, for joining us. We're so grateful. Um, why don't I pray to close? That'd be great. Yeah. God in whom we live and move and have our being, God who is calling us, leading us, nudging us forward closer 
to your own self. Closer to your own heart. Closer that we might um, fully be in unity, in union with one another and with you. We give you thanks for, uh, for creativity. We give you thanks for innovation. We give you thanks for the ways that you never stop moving, never stop working, never stop um, moving in our lives and in this world. God, I pray that, uh, that, that this initiative uh, will not be about us, but that we'll do the work of facilitating um, facilitating relationship with one another and with you. We pray that this, uh, that this initiative, this movement, uh, will not just take root uh, in, uh, in and among us who are here, but will expand and grow uh, to places we have yet to go and people we have yet to meet. Give you thanks for vision and for dreams. And I know, oh God, that, uh, that right now, uh, things are hard. Things are really hard. Um, the stress of back to school and feeling overwhelmed. Uh, the fear of um, an enemy that we cannot see, that is intangible, that is in the very air that we breathe. And the divisiveness of our culture, of our society, of our world, it is heartbreaking again and again and again. And yet we know. We know that you love us. We know that death and sin and evil uh, and the powers, the fallen powers and principalities of this world, that none of them have the final say. You have conquered them all through Jesus. And so I pray, O oh God, that you would ins continue to instill that, uh, that belief within us, even when it is hard to grasp, even when it is hard to see. And that you would move in us, O oh God, that we might continue to carry your great love into this world and be a people who invite belonging, to be a people who are about your healing, your wholeness, your mending of creation, to be a people who work for justice and unity and peace. And we believe, O oh God, that by your grace, it will all transform the world. To keep us moving, O oh God, to that day when things are not just better, but right. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, friends. We will see you on Sunday morning at 9.30 for the continuation of our The Gospel According To series. Also on our website, need to plug this, uh, there are opportunities to engage in mission uh, for the good of the community. And uh, we would love for you to participate, whether it is uh, through the Chatham Food Hub or the new Comfort Food Initiative that we just launched last week that I'm so excited about that Allie's partner, fiance, Matt, uh, helped with Dan Harper to put together uh, a very much lay-led initiative, lay-driven initiative. Uh, it's it's so exciting, and we would love for you to be a part of it. But uh, we're so grateful for each of you. Thanks for being on. Thanks for doing this journey with us. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.